as you can see I'm just going to show you all exactly what it is I'm using on this scrape tree project so you got a silky zubot handsaw I just lopped off the top of these pines you got a little axe right there uh, some zip ties which are going to be important and then this loppers and this paracord so I'm going to go ahead and show you I've got this one cut off there and this one cut off here I'm going to run that paracord across the top and uh, basically that's what I'm going to do run the paracord across the top real tight cinch it taut and then uh, I'm going to go get me a bunch of oak limbs um, southern red oak if I can find a small southern red oak those seem to last longer or a post oak and uh, I'll hang those all the way right here and I want it to hang down to about right there and that's where I, I want it to hang down to about right there that way they encourage scraping activity all under here which in turn will set me up for about a 20 yard shot so that's kind of the plan let's get to work all right so there you have it so you can see where i've connected it there and see where i've connected it there now i've got my snips and my zip ties that's next and just to show you it's nice and taut that's good and you can see that's kind of perfect so my branches are going to come down to about right there okay they'll scrape underneath that perfect perfect shot from the stand right there let's go find some oak limbs all right so here's a really good one right here just a small water oak right here and snip it off all right that's good So here's pretty much, here's one on there. As you can see, I'm just gonna stack that whole line with nothing but, I got a bunch of oak limbs here. And it's as simple as just grabbing one and cutting off the excess, putting it on there and then trimming it, snipping it up, get your excess right there. You just kinda do that all the way across the line and uh, I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. All right guys, there you go. There's your finished product. I'll hang a scrape dripper from that and there will be a lot of scraping activity right here which is what I want because my tree's right there hope uh, that was some I guess helpful information for you I'm no expert but I have been doing it a little while and uh, it's just what works for me it's not the only way to do it um, but that's just kind of Something I like to have when you're self filming, you gotta have something to stop the deer so you can get your bow and all that stuff and make a good shot. So that's just something um, that I've kinda got my bag of tricks, I guess. So to speak. All right guys, there's our scrape dripper. I was gonna stitch this cloth, you know, together somehow uh, and then figure out a way to have some kind of hanger on it. But I think I came up this is probably this is a neoprene cloth but I think I came up with a lot easier way so I'm gonna go find some black or green socks and I'm gonna cut a slit in it and put it around this bottle and I got a way I'm gonna hang it uh, I think that's probably gonna be our easier method so we're gonna go to Walmart and find some supplies I've got about 15 of these dead down wind bottles I'm gonna get a big uh, one gallon jug twist cap and store all this soap in there uh, this is actually body and hair soap but it's the same type bottle for the uh, detergent um, laundry detergent same type bottle but I'm gonna go inside and find some supplies for these scrape drippers alright I think we found what we're gonna use that's right some socks probably gonna go with a medium pair though so it's tighter and this is what I like it's just plain black 
And it's 98% polyester, 1% spandex, and the nylon. So probably should hold up in the weather decent for a while, for a season at least. That's going to slip over our um, container of scent. Also have these zip ties that we'll use. Compliments to Walmart. We'll see y'all when we get to making these. As you see, it's about to pour, which is going to be awesome for this food plot. But there it is. So we're encouraging bucks to come right here in front of the tree to scrape. All right. It's going to be jam up, and hopefully we'll have some footage of killing a big old southeast buck out of this plot on this scrape. But thanks for watching this video, and uh, we'll try to keep posting some of these things for y'all. And um, y'all can, if you feel free, like, like the uh, video, share it, subscribe. Tell all your buddies, we appreciate y'all's support. And um, just trying to produce some decent content that kind of goes more into details about how to, how to self film and bow hunt and manage wildlife and all the fun things that we all enjoy so much.